Hi, I'm Chuck Baker. And I'm Chris Austin. And it is April, April Fool's, Fool's Day. Day! Wait a second. Wait a second. What are you doing? your car? It's rolling out into the road, Chuck. I ah! Ah! You, man. April no, Fool's! No, no. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Being in radio, both of us have been in radio for quite some time. And if you're in radio, you have some crazy stories to tell about April Fool's Day. Oh, yeah. April Fool's Day and radio go hand in hand with funny stories. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to get you as best we can, our listeners, whenever we have the opportunity. So we were kind of tossing back and forth a few ideas as far as uh, this happened here and that happened over here. And I remember when this happened. So we thought we'd share a couple of stories here. So you got one, Chuck? I do. All right. I do. Matter of fact, I was in uh, the Temple Belt and Colleen uh, Market once upon a time. Matter of fact, that was kind of like a landing strip for me. I was in and out of there several times. Anyway, uh, once upon a time, I worked in Top 40 Radio. and we Chuck had... Baker worked in Top yes! 40 Radio. Yes! Oh, yeah! Second. Now, when was this? This, oh my gosh. This was uh, uh, back in the 80s. In the I, I could just imagine. And Chuck, 70s. I, can't, I, I just can imagine Chuck going, oh man, that's Madonna. <laughs> Is that what you did? <laughs> we, we, had, let me tell this story. Hey man, it's Boy George. We, you're playing we, Culture Club? Okay, we, go on with the story. I don't know what I'm telling you anymore. <laughs> no, we had so much fun. We switched our jocks with the country station, okay? So, they all came over to our Top 40 station. We went over to their country station, and it was just a hoot. Our morning show, for instance, uh, had a character called uh, Char Charlie Bob Mountainchek. And every morning it was one of his job duties it was to climb the, <laughs> to the top of the tower. Charlie Bob Mountainchek. Uh, that wasn't his uh, given name. And uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. but, but anyway, it was his job. I think that was his real name. It's on his birth certificate. Okay. <laughs> it was his job to climb to the top of the tower and get the official temperature off the uh, top of the tower. Oh, okay? Right. That was the deal. So, he kind of had a little, made a little fun of their tower. He said, that's the shortest tower I ever saw in my life. I got ladders taller than that. <laughs> that, that, that sounds so, like our tower at Kicking Country 103.1, if you ask me. <laughs> and then, there, there got Big Joe Lombardi. Uh, was oh, famous name in that market. Huh? Their uh, morning, Joe yes. Was, yeah. He has won small market jog of the year yes. before. He came over to our Top 40 station, and he was introducing a song, and I will never forget it. He said... That right there is Bananarama. <clears throat> he that's said, what you were playing. He said, what the hell is a Bananarama? <laughs> so that's where I'll end the story right there was that that's kind of how the day went, and we had so much fun. But people didn't know what to think because we had totally switched our So steps. what were you thinking? You know, what the hell is a Sawyer Brown? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now, what, doing? what about you? Oh, now this comes from a radio station that I didn't work for, but I heard this story a couple years ago. This station on April Fool's. Kind of put a little scare into the uh, local uh, area that they were broadcasting in. Okay. Where they announced on their morning show that the uh, water department in that particular area had found large amounts of, high, of dihydrogen oxide in the water. That sounds bad. Yeah. That well, sounds really bad. Got people panicked and everything, and uh, uh -huh. people were calling the water department and saying, we just heard on the radio that uh, you know they found uh, a lot of dihydrogen oxide in the water and people were all scared but not knowing if you think of what dihydrogen oxide is it's uh, h2o hey, oh man <laughs> they got them but <laughs> i bet they did i bet they got some hot water no pun intended for that <laughs> yeah they did they did it went viral i i, I believe it was a couple years ago and uh yeah, the FCC wasn't too happy, and uh, neither were the uh, authorities in that uh, particular city. And, and uh, yeah, but I mean, people just didn't put two and two together and figure out that <laughs> what dihydrogen oxide H two O. We love having fun on the radio, especially when it comes to something like April Fools. So you just never know. You never Here's know your what car, we're next. Your hey, car's rolling hey, down hey, the road. Hey, hey. <laughs> Chuck Baker, Chris Austin. We appreciate you listening to our and watching our videos, and we'll keep posting more things, don't you think? Yeah, keep uh, following us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff with Kicking Country 103.1.